My wish for you is that 2023 is the year you reclaim your power from your narcissistic spouse. I know that seems like a daunting goal, but the way you're going to reclaim your power this year is to find the strength, the courage, and the motivation to finally put this toxic relationship that is not serving you behind you. So in this video, I want to help identify the things that are going to help you find the strength, the courage, and the motivation to make this the best year ever. But first, will you please subscribe to my channel? That's how these videos are going to get in front of more of the people who really need to hear this information. I'm Victoria McCooey. I'm a narcissist divorce coach, a motivational speaker, and the creator of the Reclaim Your Power system. I help people every day who are right where you are, trapped in a toxic marriage to a narcissistic spouse or already engaged in a contentious divorce from one. All right, so how do you go about finding the strength, the courage, and the motivation to stand up to a narcissistic bully? Let's break it down. First, here are three ways you can find the strength to leave a narcissistic partner. The first is to follow a healthier diet. I know what you're saying, what does diet have to do with this? But for you to find that strength, you have got to be performing at your best level. It's a marathon. It's not a sprint. So in order for you to go the distance, you really need to be at your best, healthiest self. That means eating healthy foods, avoiding processed foods and junk, drinking lots of water, and limiting your alcohol intake because I think we all know what alcohol does. It just makes you more depressed and makes you spiral down and makes it harder to do all the other things that you know you need to be doing to get stronger. The second thing you can do to find the strength that you're going to need is to exercise regularly. Now look, you don't have to take some crazy boot camp class or, or spin or anything that's really excessive. You just need to move your body for even 15 minutes a day. Go for a brisk walk if that's all you can do. Whatever it takes for you to move your body so that you get the blood pumping and your heart beating and your lungs filling up and helping your body perform better. So even if you can only find 15 minutes a day, try to do something every single day. And the third thing that can help you find that strength you're going to need is to meditate or do yoga. Do something that brings you inside, that empties your brain, clears your mind, aligns you and connects you to a higher source. You're also going to need to find the courage to stand up to the narcissistic bully. And here are some ways that you might do that. The first is to say affirmations. So the reason this works is because it's filling your head with these positive notions. Um, just how when you're being bullied or told you're not good enough, uh, being degraded, even if you don't believe the things you're hearing, they seep in and they wear away at your self-esteem. So affirmations are a way of counteracting that, a way of building back your self-esteem so that you can gather the courage it's going to take. Another way you can find the courage you're going to need is to create community. Now, maybe that's a confidant, maybe that's someone else you know who's in the same spot you're in, or maybe it's hiring a coach, or maybe it's being part of a group of people who have been through what you've, you're going through or are also going through it. And a third way you might find that courage is to tell yourself a different story. Yes, something that simple. The courage that you need comes from thinking that you're going to have a different outcome than you've been telling yourself. So fear is just this made up thing that you're telling yourself that may or may not happen, but you keep repeating it in your head to yourself so you're convinced that that's what's going to happen, so you have fear. But if you start telling yourself a better story with a better outcome, then you're going to have more courage. It's really as simple as that. You're also going to have to find the motivation to stand up to your narcissist bully. So here are three things you can do to feel motivated to take that leap. 
The first thing you can do is look at your life as a whole. So think of the whole span of your life. If you live to be 90 years old, what would that look like on paper? And then figure out where on that graph you are now. How much of your life has already passed and how much do you still have to look forward to? What do you want to do with the rest of your time? Do you want to stay in this same place with this relationship that is not serving you, that is toxic to you? Or do you want to move out of it into all the rest of that life you have to live in a different way? Create something that, that's better, that's going to serve you better, that is going to light you up, that's going to fulfill you, the life you deserve to have. The second way to find that motivation is to realize that in order to create any kind of change, there has to be a disruption to the status quo. If nothing disrupts the status quo, it will keep going the way it's always gone. It's a line going on the same trajectory. In order to shake things up, to create anything different, there must be a disruption. So I hope that can motivate you to know that you can create that disruption that will change things up. And finally, the third way that you can motivate yourself to leave a narcissistic partner is to spend some time visualizing what your life might look like on the other side. It's like daydreaming. Just imagine your life without this relationship, without this toxic energy, without this controlling partner in it. Imagine what you could do. Imagine the freedom. Imagine your day-to-day -day life. Imagine your future. Imagine what it would look like. And don't tell yourself a negative story. Tell yourself a positive story. Think of all the possibilities there are for you to reinvent yourself as a person who is not married to a bully narcissist. So I hope this helps. I hope that you can take all these ideas, all these tricks, all these strategies, and you can find the strength and the courage and the motivation it will take to reclaim your power and stand up to your narcissist bully spouse and let 2023 be the year you change things up. Did you find this information helpful? I hope you did. If you liked this video, will you please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. I've linked a couple of other videos here that I think you might also like, so I hope I see you in the next video.